In 1821, a discovery was made in Yorkshire that helped to change our views of prehistoric life. In July of that year, a local naturalist from Kirby Moorside called John Gibson noticed something strange about the rocks being quarried at nearby Kirkdale. Among the rocks being dug to make a roadway was a huge variety of animal bones and teeth. The quarrymen assumed they were from cattle, but Gibson thought differently. The bones were traced back to a narrow cave entrance some 40 metres above the road. This entrance led to a cave network that was littered with animal bones and teeth. News of the find reached William Buckland, a pioneer in the new science of geology. Buckland soon realised that the cave contained the broken bones of hippopotamus, rhinoceros, elephant, bison, giant deer and hyena, as well as many small mammals. What were these animals doing here in Yorkshire? And crucially, how could these huge beasts have got into the narrow cave? It was a real puzzle. Some people thought that the bones had been carried in by flood water, possibly from Noah's time. But Buckland came up with a different solution and in the process revolutionised his science. He suggested that the cave had been a hyena's den. Over centuries, the hyenas had dragged the bones back to the cave where they crushed them with their immensely powerful jaws to get at the marrow. He even demonstrated this by feeding bones to hyenas in a travelling circus. Look closely and you'll see that the bones have jagged edges where they've been shattered by the hyena's jaws. Before Buckland's work, scientists had studied the anatomy of prehistoric animals and became expert at recognising and reconstructing their body shapes. The crucial leap forward that Buckland made was to deduce their behaviour simply from the remains they had left. In solving the puzzle of the Kirkdale Cave, Buckland kick-started a new way of understanding the past and founded the science of paleontology, literally the study of ancient life. We now know that the bones date from around 100,000 years ago when a warm period occurred between ice ages. These Kirkdale Cave bones were among the first items to be collected by the newly formed Whitby Literary and Philosophical Society.